Welcome to Roboys Research Reviews or the Project Arcute. This is a new initiative of Roboy where we bring you the state of the art research and try to explain it to you in two minutes. But before presenting a very interesting paper in robotics, let me introduce Roboy to you. Roboy is a humanoid robot that we are building to understand how the human body works. What makes Roboy really special and stand out from the other robots worldwide is that he has muscles and tendons instead of electrical engines in the joints. That results in many advantages as it comes to exploring the human-machine interaction. Roboy is built by a team of students and researchers mostly from the Technical University of Munich and it's an open source project. So if you are interested, check out our website roboy.org or the GitHub account github.com slash roboy. In the series of fascinating papers in robotics, we stroll into the field of robot morphology today. We have yet another fascinating paper on our hands today, and it comes from the folks from Disney Research, and the paper is called Joint Optimization of Robot Design and Motion Parameters Using the Implicit Function Theory. In this paper, they present a novel computational approach to optimizing the morphological design of robots. The process of creating new types of robots is notoriously challenging because their motor capabilities are intimately related to how they are designed. Robot designers often get inspiration from creatures in nature. Under this paradigm, many robots have been successfully designed and built by mimicking morphology and locomotion of real-life animals, including salamanders, cheetahs, kangaroos, and chimpanzees. Their framework provides an iterative editing method that the user can provide the change directions any time during the optimization process. The key element they use to solve this is the implicit function theorem. The implicit function theorem is a tool for converting an implicitly defined relationship between two sets of variables to an explicit function. Okay, let's first understand what robot design and what a robot motion is. A robot design can be described by a set of parameters such as link length and actuator attachment points while the robot motion can be described by the joint positions, joint torques, and contact forces at every time frame. These variables collectively form a set of design and motion parameters that defines the robot design and its motion. And the goal here is to develop a tool that can effectively navigate through these implicitly defined manifold of valid parameters. And they apply the implicit function theorem to derive the relationship among the design and the motion parameters. The advantage of this formulation is it provides an entirely new approach to the robot design problem. The user can choose the subset of parameters and their change directions. And the algorithm will automatically compose how the parameters should be changed for the system to stay on the constraint manifold. In contrast to traditional numerical optimization, the user no longer has to formulate the cost function for each set of optimization variables or indirectly manipulate the optimization result by adjusting the weights in the cost function. They tested three sets of examples. Simulation of linearly actuated manipulators, simulation of linearly actuated quadrupeds, and hardware of quadrupeds with off-the-shelf rotary servos. In all the three examples that they showed, the algorithm first linearizes the local manifold of valid designs implicitly defined by a set of constraints. It then changes the design parameters in the direction of the locally defined gradient, and hence shows an improvement in the motion by changes in the design. While this research definitely steps in the right direction, there is a ton of potential for good future work. Possibility to include discrete variables such as the number of actuators, and also while the examples are quite simple consisting of only a single instance of manipulation or locomotion resulting in design specialized for the given motion plan. It would also be interesting to optimize the design for a family of parameterized motion plans such as walking with different turning angles. We could also consider tasks that require more complex interactions with the environment such as climbing up stairs or perhaps even doing a somersault. We hope you all enjoyed this paper on robot morphology. And you roboticists out there, let us know the challenges you face in designing robots. While we work on hunting for the next interesting paper, you stay tuned for more cool papers.